I'm Dr. Claire McGuire and this week I want to talk about happiness. So happiness is something that we are all searching for. Um, we all have a different meaning as to what happiness is for us personally and on our Healthily Happy retreat we very much explore what happiness does mean to you. But what I want to talk about this week is something known as the first step within seven in Kundalini Yoga towards happiness. And the first step is commitment. So what do I mean by commitment? Um, many of us struggle with this word. You know, it often means if we commit to something, we have to let go of something else and we follow one path. And, you know, in our era, in our particular times when we have lots of choice, it can become difficult to commit to one thing. But you'd think committing to happiness would be something that we all want to do. But in doing so, we have to follow this path of saying no. And in this instance, we're saying no to the um, kind of almost um, addictive quality of complaining, of moaning, as British people are fantastic at moaning and complaining, we often bond through like, oh, you know, I'm having such a hard time, this is like really annoying me, um, the weather is awful, and so on and so forth. And we often think if people are there saying, oh, I'm so happy, everything's so lovely, we almost think that they're being fake. And so we start really ingraining ourselves into this behaviour of negativity and this can then result in depression and in unhappiness and we almost wallow in this misery and it becomes part of who we are. Whereas really within our emotions and our emotional strength, if we're unhappy there will be a reason why and we can just examine well I'm unhappy because of X, Y and Z and I can move through it because I'm committed to being happy and I'm committed to my own happiness. I'm committed to being kind, to being kind to myself, to being kind to other people. I'm committed to helping other people as well as to help myself. And so every day we wake up with this sort of sense of recommitment and a recommitment to our path of happiness. So I hope that makes sense because what I want you to do is to really ask yourself, do I want to be happy? And if I do want to be happy, can I commit every day to that path of happiness and what can I do? How can I be kind to myself, kind to other people, help myself and help other people? How can I express gratitude and thanks and appreciation and very much what can I enjoy about the day no matter what is going on within my life and within the world around about me? So um, enjoy International Happiness Day, be happy, and I will see you next week. Bye.